Okay, let's review. So far I've got this image and one of the things we've learned how to do so far is to do use adjustment layers to make changes to our image instead of just making the changes to the image directly. So for instance, I can do an image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and I can change the contrast of my image, right? And then likewise, I can do an image adjustments levels, and I can change the levels of my image, right? Just like this, okay? And now I've made these adjustments and the image has been changed and you can see there's no easy way to go back and, 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 uh, and go back and decide that, hey, I wanna change the levels again or I wanna make an adjustment to that brightness and contrast. And uh, I want to be able to play with that. I want to step it back a little bit, or I want it a little more extreme or whatever. So instead of making changes to the image directly by doing image adjustments and, you know, hue saturation, and let's say upping the saturation of the image, you see, I can do all these adjustments, but instead of doing them directly to the image, I can put them in an adjustment layer. So that's what we've learned so far. Now, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. I've got uh, here, I'm going to go to my history here and go back to the top which takes me back to the beginning right here's all the steps that I just did I go back to the beginning okay so instead of doing that um, directly to the image I can do it through adjustment layers and there's two ways to do that is this pop-up menu will give me an adjustment layer or I can go to layer new adjustment layer and do it here right so let's do the brightness and contrast one here so now I click OK and now I've got a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and then I can adjust the contrast, right? And, and that's pretty good, all right? So, and if I decide later I wanna go back, all I have to do is go in and do that, right? So, um, it's kind of a non-destructive way of working. So now if I wanted to, I could go back and click here on the brightness and contrast adjustment layer and I can adjust those settings, right? Okay, well, rules are meant to be broken, so I'm gonna take this layer, this adjustment layer, and I'm gonna delete it. And um, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do the opposite of what I just recommended. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do image adjustments, brightness and contrast, and I'm gonna up the contrast of the image directly. And then I'm going to, this is mainly for the sake of this lesson or this exercise. Then I'm gonna adjustments and I'm gonna do the uh, levels and I'll bring in this a little bit to the there, darken that up, bring that in a little bit there. And then I'm gonna do an image adjustments, hue saturation, and I'm going to up the saturation of my image to make that red stick stand out a little bit more. Okay, so now I've got, this is the image that I'm working with so far. Now in this exercise, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do an adjustment layer starting from this point. So I'm starting from this point and I'll go over here and I'm gonna do a hue saturation adjustment layer. I know I just edited it to bring up the saturation, but we'll see what happens here. It's gonna be pretty interesting. So I'll do a hue saturation adjustment layer and I'm gonna take the saturation all the way down. And if you take the saturation all the way down, you'll see that your image is desaturated resulting in a black and white image, a black and white effect. Now, what's nice about this is, once again, this is an adjustment layer, not the image layer. So there's the background image layer and here's the adjustment layer. So if I turn the eyeball off on the adjustment layer, you can see that I haven't actually gotten rid of the color information, it's just underneath and there's this adjustment layer is basically filtering the image, right? Well, this brings up something that we wanna talk about next, and that is this little box right here. This is a layer mask, and the layer mask lets us, uh, lets us decide what we're gonna see and what we're not gonna see from this adjustment layer. So right now, as you can see, this little box is all white, and this layer mask, if it's white, everything that happens on this adjustment layer will be revealed. So white is reveal, and black is conceal. So if I wanted to, I could paint in this adjustment layer and paint back the color of my image by masking it with this, this uh, 
layer mask. Let me show you an example. Right now, this is set to um, all white. So the hue saturation, this, this desaturation that we did, right, in the hue saturation adjustment layer, we can see it completely because of this white layer mask. But if I was to take a paintbrush and change the color to black, which it is, and then click on this adjustment layer. Notice how if I click off of the adjustment layer, you, you don't see a selection, but you can actually click on that layer mask, right? So I click on the layer mask, and now what I can do is, I'm gonna change the size of my brush here. Take the hardness to midway and change, raise up the size. And let's raise it up some more. And I can start painting with black in my layer mask. And when I did that, by the way, I lost the black color here. Notice down here at the bottom of the window, I'm going to move this up a little bit. The color, the, the foreground color is white. I need to flip those. I need it to be black and white. And now I'm going to paint. And you'll see everywhere I paint, the color comes back. Well, why is that? Why is the color coming back? Well, that's because I'm painting black in my layer mask. You can see over here in this little window that the layer mask is starting to get black in it. And so I can paint the color back in my image. Well, this is a neat way to do a black and white image where only part of the image is black and white and the other part is in color. And this is one way that you could do that. And if you want to actually see your layer mask, I think you can alt click on this layer mask and you can see that I'm actually painting black into the layer mask right here. This is the layer mask right here. So I held down the alt key on my keyboard and I clicked right on this layer mask. Hold down the alt key and click, click again. You can see that I'm actually painting the mask and the mask, the black, is masking away the effect of the desaturation and basically allowing the color to be revealed. And so that's pretty neat. Uh, it's a pretty neat exercise and can be really useful if you wanted to do kind of an artistic image of a uh, black and white and then just have the color show up for the person's face or you know, for if you were doing a wedding picture and have just the uh, just the bride and groom and then everything else is in black and white or something like that. I mean, you could find a million and one uses for it. But the main use here is not because it's, you know, super necessary for this image, but more so to show you that this adjustment layer has a mask. And what we see on the adjustment layer is, is can be um, modified by this layer mask. So right here, once again, I can alt click in here. I can see my mask and that this is good because then I can just see that I need to paint black here. And this could all be black because it follows the shape of the dress. But then when we alt click on the mask one more time, you'll see that the result in the image is that we have the desaturation taking a place, taking effect here, but not taking effect in the center where we painted our mask black. See if you can do that with an image. Take an image, do an adjustment layer hue saturation, desaturate it, desaturate it completely by sliding this slider all the way to the left, and then click on the mask. Click on the mask. Notice you have to click on the mask. Get black as your foreground color chip here, right? Black and get your paintbrush, adjust your size, and see if you can paint back in some of the color in your image.